Well, good morning. It's Pastor Sandy with a time of refreshing here with you today, outside, in between the rain, hopefully. I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about finding your purpose, finding your purpose in serving. You know, it says, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. That's over in 1 Corinthians 10 and 31. You know, this is our purpose in serving in life, whether it be to serve in the church, to serve at your work, to serve your family, you know, but it's different when we're doing it for the glory of God. When you're serving in your own self, you're going to become frustrated. You're going to get disappointed. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get bitter. You know, so let's keep the focus on God, that we're serving for God. Let's not get all caught up in the do's and the don'ts. And did somebody, you know, uh, uh, tell me thank you for what I did or for what I didn't do? You know, let's keep our focus on why we serve, and that is for the glory of God. You know, and doing it for God himself. You know, we serve because he served. So let's do what he did and do it, though, for the glory of God. You know, there's a lot deeper meaning when we serve. And why? And that is to bring glory to God. That's what it's all about. You know, if we're not careful, we go to a job we don't like. We work around people that maybe we don't like. And the next thing we know, we become bitter. We become discontented. And then what kind of a witness is that? if we're all those things but if we'll keep our heart lined up with god's purpose and that's in serving him serving his people serving with love and remember that the greater purpose of why you're in a church or why you're at your job or why you're in the family you're in or maybe in the neighborhood you're in you're there to serve god but to show them Jesus. Maybe there's someone there that doesn't know him. Maybe there's someone that's going through stuff that needs your witness. That's what they need to see and to hear. So we've got to keep that heart that no matter what you do in life, remember you're still more important than what you do. Okay? God's more concerned with you. All that other stuff will line up. But if we keep a heart of saying, God, I'm here because you have me here for a purpose. Maybe it's for one person. Maybe it's for that one individual. Maybe it's for the one that rubs you the wrong way the most. But God says you're here for a purpose. See, if we can keep that in focus, then that will help us see to experience God in the way that he's called us to experience him and to have a greater joy and to have a greater peace you know and that's what brings real satisfaction you know and only god can bring that satisfaction so let's remember lord give us a heart to serve it may be for that person that has said that today god if you're really real then i need to hear it today maybe i need to see your love and it may be you he's going to use. So let's pray, God, give us a heart to serve. Give us a heart to love like you love, to see what you see, to hear what you see, hear. Oh, God, let us be Jesus with skin on. Let us go tell the story of your goodness and your love. Give us a heart to serve. Give us a heart to that has a real heart, a true heart, a sincere heart to serve in any way that you ask us to serve. And with that, I'm going to tell you something. There comes a great harvest. Oh, a great harvest awaits you in this serving. So until next time, keep it simple, sister, and bless my brothers. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe.